Louis is Circleville's favorite son. He was born right across the street here in 1890, died in 1971, and when he died, the Smithsonian, Harvard, and Yale Universities, uh, the City of New York all wanted his memorabilia. And his wife Ada said no, Ted wanted it to come back to the capital of the world, Circleville, Ohio. My name is Joyce Keller. I'm the president of the Ted Lewis Museum. Ted Lewis was a great uh, band leader and vaudeville performer. He performed all over the world. He played for King George V of England, gave command performances for nine U.S. presidents. In the late 1920s, he was the highest paid um, musician in the country. Ted Lewis first uh, started performing here uh, when he was just a boy. Ted fell in love with the syncopated style of music. He would go down to an old barber shop on West Main Street and sit in with guys that were just jamming music. He ran away several times. Circuses would come to town, he'd follow them. He knew that his uh, life he was going to spend with music. Ted never forgot his hometown. Everywhere he went, whether it was in Europe or here in the States, he would always ask, is anybody here from my hometown, Circle Bell, Ohio? Ted loved to come back to the pumpkin show. He gave money to buy the Ted Lewis Park up on North Court Street, gave money to the schools, bought instruments for the kids, raised money for Burger Hospital here. He was proud of Circle Bell and we're proud of him. We just want the world to know about Ted and his many accomplishments and what he gave to the world of music.